participation is not in line with traditional matrimonial canons, express the sincere desire to approach the sacraments after an appropriate period of discernment. Father Murray, what is this in your estimation? And are good intentions enough to receive Holy Communion in the Catholic Church? Uh, this is really a disaster. I'll say it straight out. It's a direct contradiction of what the Church has always taught, is what John Paul II, now St. John Paul, taught in Familiars Consortio and in subsequent documents. The idea that you would say people who are living in an adulterous union are not exactly models of Catholic uh, marriage, but nonetheless they should be given communion. Mm. This is casting aside the message of the gospel. Um, we have, again, yet again, the highest levels, except for the very highest level, saying contradictory things that also may, as the as Father said, contradict the entire tradition of the Church. Mm -hmm. The only way that this can be resolved is for the Holy Father himself to step forward. I've, mm -hmm. I've said this before, after Humanae Vitae, when Paul VI took a right. very unpopular position about contraception, mm -hmm. affirming the, the, the teaching, there was controversy all over the place, but there was no doubt about what he said. Mm. Now all we have is a dialogue that's going on. So we don't have either a, a, a fidelity to Catholic teaching or a definite change in discipline. Mm. Sin is adultery. You're not allowed to commit adultery. That's, quite, that's the sixth commandment. You know, one thing that really puzzles me in this whole discussion is the resistance to describing things as they are. Adultery means adultery. It's irregular unions. You know, you can have an, a regular has all kinds of meanings. We're talking <laughs> about gospel truth here. The Lord reaffirmed quite clearly the invalidity saying that you can have a second spouse. He said the man who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. We should have gospel frankness here. Because mm -hmm. it's Jesus who made this rule. It was a, a rule that was shocking to the, the Pharisees and, and the strict uh, Jews of his time. Mm -hmm. This is something that has always been taught by the church. We, we now have uh, a, conf a conflict not just between existing cardinals, but it's made to appear as if people who remain faithful to the teaching are somehow themselves Pharisees, mm. the, the ones that, that Jesus was contradicting with this very teaching that they're trying to defend. Yeah. There's something very odd going on here, and I would have to say that, um, that you, we'll just, this can only get worse as time goes on, as various people take one side or the other in what has to be determined at the very highest level in the church. Well, it gives the feeling, it gives the feeling of a schism. It's not a schism, but it gives the feeling of one because people are taking sides, and it's not just any people. It, uh, I mean, as, as uh, Father Murray's article, uh, you know, it's, it's Cardinals Clashing is the title of the article. When Cardinals Clash, this, this is what we seem to be seeing, and it is very confusing to the people at home and the people watching all over the world, not just here in the United States.